An old tradition with a new backdrop. The Mardi Gras Mayor's Ball is happening right now in downtown St. Louis. And this year, the event has moved to a new venue, Union Station. As Fox 2's Amelia McGavra reports this evening, there are even more reasons why this year is so special. The Mardi Gras Mayor's Ball is back for the first time since 2020, and it's better than ever with a lot of excitement and a new venue. Take a look. The Mayor's Ball has traditionally always been held at City Hall, but with more people attending each year, organizers chose to expand here to Union Station. Program manager Lindsay Wetzel says it was no easy feat to decorate a venue this size. Every year, you know, we have our challenges with decorating. Um, however, this year with the new venue, we didn't know what was in store for us, and actually everything has gone exactly the way we would have wanted it. Things are looking exactly the way we would have wanted them to look. So we're very, very excited to show everyone the new venue and how we have decorated this year. Multiple bands are performing all throughout the night, including headliner band Platinum Rock Legends. There are three bands plus the parade at the event here tonight, yes. Plus other entertainment, right? Plus plenty of other entertainment. Aerialists, um, there are actors, stilters, carnival type people, two magicians roaming the crowd. Uh, there's entertainment everywhere you turn around. Now there are traditional elements to this year's ball, including jazz music and the traditional Mardi Gras procession with St. Louis Mayor Trishara Jones. We haven't had a chance to dress up and go out to balls in a long time, and so I'm excited to see people I haven't seen in a long time, um, and excited for people to let their hair down and have some fun. Organizer Bess McCoy says the ball might look bigger and better, but it's still a great fundraiser for this amazing cause. So the Mayor's Ball is hosted by the Mardi Gras Foundation and proceeds from this event go to fund community improvement grants in Soulard and downtown. Soulard has been so gracious to host Mardi Gras for the last 43 years. So this is just one of the many ways that we can give back to that community and back to that neighborhood. And the ball is happening until midnight. And of course, this is not the only thing happening this weekend. The Grand Parade is happening tomorrow on Saturday. And of course, we'll have all the information on all the events happening this weekend inside the story on Fox2Now.com and News11.com. In Union Station, Emily McGalvero, News 11.